Welcome back everyone. So the summer update we're predicting will drop, or the first part at least, will drop next weekend. So that'll be the last week of June that the summer update part one will be dropping. Now, of course, I've talked on my main channel before about how we're speculating there's gonna be multiple parts to this update. My guess is three parts. And today I just wanted to go into more depth on my predictions for this summer's update. So like many others when talking about EOC summer updates, my all-time favorites have to be summer 2021 and summer of 2022. Those were probably the best updates. Summer of 2020 was pretty good as well. I suppose the map update in 2020 was actually after the summer, more into autumn, but still, it was a really cool update. And since we haven't had a major map update or expansion in two years now, Many people have been speculating, will the developers be updating the map this year? And I think so, but only to some extent. Of course, with the 2022 map update, we got, it was probably like a 40, 50% map increase. We got all of this, High Rock Park, Springfield, the lake up here, the new housing, the highway. So, so much new stuff was added in that update. Um, and I don't think we're going to get a map update to the same extent this year. But I do believe we'll get changes to the current map. Mr. Fergie has talked in Q&As before about not increasing the map size massively, especially given the server size is only 40 um, players and 40 players spread around this map is, it can get quite quiet in some areas. So I do have to agree that extending the map, you know, up here, maybe another 20% map increase, although it would be really, really cool to explore new places, the servers would feel even emptier. So instead, what I think they'll do is update certain areas on the map or buildings on the map. We call this a hotel, but it's got chairs in every window, so I'd assume it's more of a restaurant. Either way, this has been standing here for years. It survived the Summer 22 update, and I think this will be updated to be a building with an interior quite possibly. I think areas maybe like the industrial district could be updated as well, some more building interiors in there, good for role play scenarios. Maybe even up here, we've got a massive expanse of just emptiness, like not even dirt roads or anything, just empty land. Maybe this will be updated, adding something down here off Riverside, who knows. But yeah, so I don't think they'll be doing a map expansion, but I do think they'll be doing a map update this summer. That's my prediction anyways. Apart from that, myself and other YouTubers have already talked about the hint to a gun revamp, which I think is a pretty big possibility. In terms of other stuff for the summer updates, it really could be anything. Trailers to fire department, trailers for civilian teams. We could be getting new robberies. We could be getting new tools for teams. We could be getting new private service settings, new customization things. Maybe even the return of the classic cars game pass. Really, who knows, um, but I'm presuming that PLC will tease some more information over the next two weeks and we'll start to get a bigger picture of what will be coming this year. But I definitely think it will be bigger than summer's update of 2023. So I don't think you should be too worried about having a repeat of last year. I think this will be a pretty big one. Just spread over multiple updates. All right, thank you very much everyone for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you all in the next one.